Kiana here with PMP Crafters. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working on a Snickers candy wrapper. If you are new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to be using my Snickers template from my ultimate bundle so once you have it it'll look something like this what you need to do is make a copy of it i always recommend make a copy of it make a copy make a copy so you're going to go to file then you're going to go to make a copy once you have that copy you're going to rename it because we don't want it the same exact name who wants all of that on there so we're going to say it is a Snickers. I am going to say Snickers design like I always do. So now we have our Snickers template and our Snickers design, but we're not going to work on the template portion. We're strictly going to work here. Now, after we do that, we want to duplicate the page. So that way we have our template always available and we can create another design. Now I'm gonna name this page. We are doing a um, gamer or gamers pay um, design today. Um, so just really quickly, when you see this, you have your front, these are your backs or your sides, whatever you wanna name it, and then there's a glue line. And the reason why I added the glue line this time is because um, Snickers has an overlap of its wrapper. So just in case if this doesn't fit yours exact, you have some extra to work with. So I tend to make my design the full length of this. So I go all the way past the glue line and stop here at X the top of the glue line. Okay, so your glue slash tape line will be included in your design. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this design going. Um, while I am pulling up some things, I want to tell you guys about the Ultimate Bundle. There are so many great things in there, and I mean uh, great, great things in there. You've got everything from your chip bags to um, Pringles, Skittles, any delicious snack is in there, and you can create a wrapper for it. Okay, so I have a PlayStation controller and a Xbox controller here that I am possibly going to be using for this design. And I say possible because we are freestyling this. And so what I want to do is I want my controllers to be the same size. And the reason for this is because I want to cut each one of them in half. I'm gonna zoom in here so that way we can actually really see. Okay, I want to cut each controller in half and so that way it'll be a half and half. And I'm doing this because there's some gamers that like PlayStation, there's some gamers that like Xbox. And hey, instead of us making two designs, we're gonna make one design. Okay, I'm trying to get them to nudge together just perfect. All right, so this is kind of going to be our design image. I'm going to go ahead and group those together. So that way we can move them to our liking. Okay. I'm gonna move this, I could delete it, but I may use that font, I mean not the font, but I may use the text and change it, change the wording and font. So okay, now, for our background, and possibly I may make this all the same color all the way around, let's just see. So we've got a half and half thing going. I'm gonna look for green and black, um, 
green and black background okay oh now this is amazing i like this one but i think i like this one better so and i'm going to zoom out because i'm going to choose if I can find it also in blue, then that would be good. So our Xbox is gonna be our green and black side. Our PlayStation is gonna be our blue and black side. Now that I've done that, I can keep both of these if I would like, but I'm trying to see which one I feel like will be more vibrant. And I really think that this design will. And of course I could use this as the background here, but I really feel like I'm not gonna have this here at all. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and zoom in. And I left that glue line. Okay, so now I'm going to go into elements and I really want a, a blue star and a green star. Now it's time, actually I'm gonna bring it back because we're gonna add our writing in, our wording in, and I wanna make sure that I'm putting it in the proper place before I do anything else. All right, so now we are going to add in our name and I'm gonna press T for text. Okay, so we have our happy birthday, and then I want to now go in, and we want this bold, so we want to put an outline on it. I'm going to make this outline very, very bold, and it's going to be the opposite color. So for the green side, we want it to be blue. And I'm going to just choose one of the blues. And I'm probably going to go with the lighter of the blue area. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing. It was an 87 thickness. And we want to choose one of the greens from the opposite side.
All right, so now that I have the birthday boy's name here, we want to duplicate it. Uh, first, I think I want to spread it out. This for for the lettering to actually look separate, okay? <laughs> then we're gonna duplicate it. Now, and the reason why we're duplicating it is because we want to once again, have it to where they are half and half, okay? So I have the name even here and I want to take one of them and I want to take one of them and just do the last few letters. So I am going to take that part off and then I'm just going to push this down right to the middle until it all lines up. After that, I'm going to just leave that one. That one's already blue. We're going to leave that blue. The back one, we are going to change the effect color to match the green in this one. All right, so now that we have that, now I am going to take this one off. All right, here we go. Now this is our final piece. Now I'm gonna zoom out and I want to select all of this. I'm gonna group it all together just so we can duplicate and move it right up here to our other one. All right, now we're all set to print. Okay, I wanted to quickly show you how I assemble my Snickers. Now, I know this is in fast pace. If you would like a slower video, let me know down in the description. But I like for mine to actually keep the shape of the Snicker bar versus it being flat like the one that you can see closest to you. And then I finish it off with those nice edges. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Happy crafting.